So welcome to this brief demo of our CodeBeam integration with Cameo Systems Modeler. This OSLC-based integration of an architecture management tool like Cameo with textual requirements is just a small part of our initiative to establish a whole ecosystem of connected authoring tools. You cannot only um, link Cameo with textual requirements management tools like Doors Next, CodeBeamer, Jama Connect. You can also link Cameo artifacts to Rhapsody, Enterprise Architect, Simulink, or even Jira. Okay, so here I am in Cameo. I have loaded my SmartFacts plugin, and um, I'm just uh, going into my uh, project tree, and I will load a code beamer requirements tracker into my requirements grid you can really load big um, requirements packages into this grid can be easily uh, more than 10,000 requirements you can expand the nodes just as you're used to do so in uh, the original tool in in code beamer okay so let's go ahead and add some links i will just uh, pick an element from the left i will pick something from the right i Go ahead and say add link. I have to select the link type here, derived from requirement, and add the link. Um, you see that this element now gets this vertical gray bar. When I hover on it, I can see which element is linked to this textual requirement. When I deselect and uh, click on it, then this gets highlighted, so I can very easily identify which element um, got highlighted. When I refresh the diagram, then we get this little icon up here that shows me that this element has a link. Of course, we can also um, link whole diagrams like this a diagram here to the same uh, requirement. Um, again, we pick a link type and generate the link and when we hover on the gra gray bar, we see that now there are two items linked. Okay, let's add some, one more. So I pick this element here and I say I want to uh, link it to this textual requirement and um, and we're done. Okay, so okay, so this is the the complete requirements uh, document. You see, I can expand all and drill into all uh, requirements in, in this view. We also have a context view. We just change to a different tab. This context view will show me all the requirements. Um, that have been linked to any of these model elements here. And we have three of them. One ha links to, uh, to the diagram, and two of them link to model elements. Now I can go in and, uh, and just um, have a look at the delegated UI of that requirement. I open that in the local viewer. So this is my delegated UI of this um, uh, requirement. And uh, of course, I can also jump into a, the original tool. Just one click, and here we are in a Code Beamer, and we see the two links we have added. I can do a rich hover. I just hover on uh, the diagram, and uh, can we can zoom in and out. We can expand this pane here and uh, select an element and see what are the, the items, the uh, attributes of this element. And here we see in the referenced by column that this element is used in multiple diagrams. And of course, we can you, uh, navigate into any of them and uh, uh, examine the details here. OK, so the other link was a link to a model element. So when I hover on that one, I will only get a property grid. So these are the details of that element that has been linked. And again, this element is part of multiple diagrams. And I can easily navigate into any of these diagrams and um, uh, investigate the details. You can de do even more here. You can um, add comments. You can do a version diff of the diagram, all, all these things. But um, what I'd like to do is we, we would like to have a look um, how we can add links from uh, from CodeBeamer to Cameo. So that's, that's also possible. I just click on the plus 
um, we search for our diagram. B15 was the one we had used before, so here it is. Um, we navigate in and uh, yeah, let's um, add a link to this block here. Uh, we add that link. It is established. Same thing. Um, the link is part of one diagram only and we can um, see all the details. Now let's uh, switch over to um, to Cameo again and and update and now we have four links and of course baggage is now part of our links here and um, that links to the same uh, texture requirements. Okay, now another thing that's that's really important is to understand the traceability coverage and we're using basically two mechanisms to um, to do this analysis. One, uh, we can use generic tables. So uh, we have set up a generic table here and um, uh, when I go into the details, I have specified that already. I have defined some element types here and you see some of those uh, elements carry our links here. Um, you see the code beamer elements, you see uh, the ID and the name, you see the link type, you see the link provider and the link URI. Um, okay, and a another uh, way would be to use the Smart Facts Analysis Center. I have defined, predefined an analysis here, and I say I want to open that in the local viewer, and then we get results uh, nicely rendered. I can drill in and we, we see all the details here. Um, but there is also um, a way to uh, navigate into the raw data here in the results grid, we get an Excel right inside um, uh, Cameo. We get an Excel table with all the details with the SmartFix ID, the tool ID, um, element kind, a title, um, link type, and so on, whatever we, uh, all the information that's associated to that link. Okay, so this was a very brief overview. There's a lot more to tell about this solution. Whatever you have questions, um, don't hesitate and just get back to me. Thank you.